one other thing about the these multi-bagger compounders, if we go back to the example of Rakesh Junjunwala, is like I said, he put 4% of his portfolio, which later became 50%. I think, I think Titan compounded at more than 30% a year for a long time. And it has a great model. It'll keep going. I mean, I think that runway is really long. It tolerates a very high error rate because let's, let's take an example that the other 96% of Ra- Rakesh's portfolio went to zero. If that had happened, he would still have a major home run. So if we make these compounder bets, and let's say we put 10% of portfolio into each bet, and we study these businesses carefully, and we make 10 of these bets like NVR, not a zone, and whatever. The most important thing, which is the most difficult for investors, is after that, you need to go to sleep. So after making the bet, because nothing will go in a straight line, there will be news coming out all the time, invasions into Ukraine, and there's the inflation in the US, and the Fed is raising rates, and the business might take a hiccup here and there or whatever else. So there's a hundred different reasons for which one might be tempted to take action. And to Rakesh's credit, considering that he had like four screens in front of him all day long, he never touched the Titan position for several decades, you know, died with it. So the, the important thing in investing is not how smart you are. This is not a game of like the highest IQ person wins. So the identification of a great business is not that difficult. What, what is the most difficult is not doing anything after you find yourself in the fortunate position of ownership of these businesses. So taking Rakesh's example, if you made 10 bets and you just said, okay, no matter what the news is, I'm just going to ignore everything. And in some cases, the news dictates that you should actually sell. The business has gone into secular decline, for example. And you can tell as well. But let's say you take no action. You know, you live with the secular declines, see some of them go to zero, all of that. It would still be an exceptional run at the end of 20 or 30 years. And, and the reason why most investors don't enjoy those great returns is because they get in their own way. You know, they, they are not content with watching paint dry. If you are the kind of person where, you know, some painter has painted some wall white color and you can just sit there for eight or 10 hours and watch it dry and be really happy, then this is the business for you. You know, French mathematician Pascal, you know, so one of his famous quotes is that all man's miseries stem from his inability to sit quietly in a room and do nothing. I would just paraphrase Pascal to say all investment manager miseries stem from their inability to sit quietly in a room and do nothing. 